ABC 36 News at 5.30 starts now. Well, it's a new device designed to help those suffering from heart failure. Coming up next in your health, see how Kentucky is contributing to this state-of-the-art treatment. You're watching ABC 36 News at 5.30. Two Kentucky women are among a handful of patients in a national clinical trial testing an implant for heart failure patients. Now, the device could greatly improve their quality of life. ABC 36 News anchor and health reporter Christy Runyon joins us now with a look at the groundbreaking technology. More than 5 million Americans suffer from heart failure, a condition where the heart can't pump all the blood the body needs. It results in more than 300,000 deaths each year. A device being tested right here in Kentucky could change the way the condition is treated. Two Kentucky women are the first females and only the third and fourth heart failure patients in the country to receive the C-Pulse Heart Assist System, an implantable device that helps the heart pump blood. Faye Prather is thrilled to be one of the first people to receive the treatment. Uh, before I would get fatigued and uh, if I would go out. It would take me 24 hours to recuperate. Heart failure is a common progressive condition. Many patients have to limit physical activity to avoid extra stress on a heart already failing to pump enough blood to the body. After having the device implanted last month at Jewish Hospital in Louisville, Faye can already see a difference. And now with this, I can go out, do an activity. I may come home and two hours rest and I'm ready to go do something else. Patients with advanced heart failure are typically comfortable only at rest. The hope is the implant would remove physical limitations and greatly improve their quality of life. Patients can be very active because now their heart is supported. We're hoping and trying to see whether or not this device will also improve uh, patients activity but that would be the hope. Doctors say more clinical trials are needed, but it looks promising so far. The FDA has given the company that makes the C-Pulse device the go-ahead for a clinical trial of 20 U.S. patients. Again, so far only four, two of them right here in Kentucky. If approved, the new technology could be ready for widespread use in a few years. Live in the studio tonight, Christy Runyon, ABC 36 News. All right, Christy, thank you.